Today I'm taking a look at the new folding knife from Vosti, the Nightshade LT, which I have here below in gray. I had bought this limited edition Nightshade earlier this year because it's a unique shape. I liked the uh, materials that it was made out of and I just didn't have anything like it in my collection and I've really been enjoying it. That version sold out, but don't fret because the Nightshade LT is available and is a pretty much the same knife, just in slightly different materials. Vosti reached out and asked if I'd be interested in taking a look at it. And of course I said I would. They have offered me a coupon code to save $5 on the knife itself or $20 with their titanium pry bar here that I'll talk a little bit more about later. So both are pretty good deals. If you haven't already liked me on social media, you'll find all that stuff in the description below. I appreciate you guys liking and following me as it does help brands recognize that you guys like content and helps me take a look at new things. So here is the packaging that the Nightshade LT came in. It's a nice cardboard sleeve across over a aluminum tin. Now this tin is really nice. However, mine got uh, flattened by the mailman here. I won't blame that on Vosteed. It was pretty well packaged and I had no problems there. My mailman just must have stepped on it. It did come in a nylon zippered pouch here and this is screen printed on top. And it's a, it's a nice pouch, the knife fits in there well. And you also get a couple extra cards here, just a kind of a certificate of birth, tells you all the stats on the knife, the one that you got. This model is called Storm Gray. And then they had a card here with customer service. It's really nice paper. 120 day money fullback refund is pretty good. Uh, return and replacement service. And I would encourage you guys to go join the Vos Vosteed Facebook group as they're really active and it's a nicely growing community. So there are two versions of this knife. There is the Storm Gray that I've got here, and there is a black. Both are G10. The black model has a gray center pivot and a satin finished blade. The gray here has a white pivot and a stonewash blade here. The knives are made in a Kaiser facility by Vosteed staff, and it's a complete Vosteed design. Overall length of the blade comes in at about 3.26 inches. The overall length of the knife is 7.48 and the blade width here is about 1.21 uh, and it's a little bit wide for the pocket but not too bad. I measure the blade thickness on the rounded crown at 0.1135 inches and at the tip at the uh, sharpened edge at 0.025 inches. The handle thickness is about 0.531 inches and weight came in at 4.16 ounces. This will be hard to see, but I think I've got a picture inside, but the liners are milled to save a little bit of weight. Body screws are all T6 Torx and the pivot screw is T8. I thought at first this looked like a custom pivot, but it's indeed Torx, which is nice to see. The blade here is made from 154 CM and on my gray model, it's a light stonewash finish, as I said. I like 154 CM. It has pretty decent edge retention for the price range. It's easy to sharpen and it's made in the USA. It's a carpenter steel. The blade shape here mostly resembles a traditional shillin style knife. The shillin is a traditional all-purpose knife from Chinese and Taiwanese regions and it has a long history of carry by lots of different professions and demographics. It has a little bit of a kukri in it too with that downward sloping blade. The blade shape's pretty unique in my collection. I didn't have anything like this. The closest I probably have is some of the leaf designed spider cos like the Manix or the Sage 2. Both are pretty different though. The grind here is full flat grind, which is always my favorite because of its uh, slicing performance. The Vosteed here has a crown spine, which is also something that I don't have a lot in my collection. I think this actually might be the only one. Centering here, even after use, is spot on. No problems there. And lockup is quite good as well. Blade performance is probably my favorite part of the nightshade. It can really take on a ton of different tasks and excel at them. I did a little bit of food prep over my time with it here and it did well. I tend to do very little food prep with my pocket knives at home because I have kitchen knives. And as a side note, I reviewed the Vosteed Morgan, which is from the same designer over at Vosteed. Food prep isn't all what it's good at though. I am going through some cleaning and have been breaking down a lot of cardboard boxes, tape, and uh, occasional zip ties and things like that. And it blew through those. It's also a good letter opener, which I think is kind of an important and often overlooked task. Um, not all blade shapes are good for getting into to little, the little spaces that you need when you're starting an envelope. I've used it a lot to draw cut, which is kind of that motion like this. And it really 
works well with that with the, I'm gonna call upswept belly. I'm not sure of the technical term here. And it's still relatively sharp after all my time with it. I've stropped it a few times with uh, a leather strop and gunny juice diamond emulsion. I will say the branding on here is minimal, which I like as well. See if I can get this thing to focus and you can see it. Just says Vosti Nightshade here, 154 CM, and it's got the maker's mark here. That's that's pretty minimal and I like it. The, for feel in the hand, the scales on the nightshade are simply just slightly rounded as you can probably see here. They're pretty simple. The edges are chamfered well, so there's no sharp points or anything. The G10 has a little bit of texture to it. It's not aggressive, but it's not completely smooth either. I think one of the more interesting features here is the two-tone pivot collar. As far as I can tell, it's one material piece so either that or just made incredibly well i can't get my fingernail to catch an edge or anything like that so i'm not sure how they're doing that to me the scales are comfortable i can fit four fingers on here pretty well no problems i have a medium sized hand when i put my thumb on top there it locks into the jimping well i can put a finger on top for more detailed cutting no problem if i'm gripping the knife really tightly way tighter than i ever probably would the clip digs in just a little bit but not bad when i'm at normal gripping i could use this thing all day long i also like that the lock bar has a little bit of uh jimping i'm gonna call it milled in there just a little bit nicer than your average pocket knife in this price category so let's talk about the action here the knife is designed as a flipper but that's not the only way you can deploy it. We'll start first with the flipper here. It is a relatively small flipper tab with aggressive jimping, and that's really nice as it really allows you to do the light flick motion easily. It takes a little bit more force than kind of what I was expecting, but it still opens easily. One of the other benefits here is that the flipper tab allows the knife to sit up and kind of show you like that. And that's nice, otherwise I think it wouldn't sit flat. And that's something I kind of just noticed. There are other ways to open this blade. You can put your thumb kind of on the blade like this and then open it up, no problem. I think Vosteed could make versions of this with alternate opening measures too, if they didn't want to include the uh, flipper. You could do a thumb stud here and I think would work fairly well. And you could do some type of spidey hole type thing to uh, open it like that. The closure is pretty drop shut as well, and this is hard to show on camera, but once you get the angle over 90%, so say there, the weight of the blade closes it pretty well. The knife is running on bearings there, and I haven't removed any of the factory oil or grease or anything. I have put a drop or two of Gunny Glide on it though, and I think that adds to the fidget factor here. My original nightshade that I have had for longer and flipped more is even a little bit better motion, but same blade size and shape and same mechanics. So this one should break in just as well. So on retention, you do have a clip here and it's pretty deep carry. There's just a tiny little nub sticking out there. And I really like this clip. It's basic, it's simple. It doesn't seem to catch on anything and it's spring steel, so it's easy to bend in place. It does have a lanyard hole if you want that. Unfortunately, it is not an ambidextrous knife, so you can't put it on for the left-hand side. And that's not really a problem for me. I, I switched to right-hand carry a long time ago, but I know that'll bother some people. Quick word on the Vosteed Shark Bomb Pry Bar 2. It's made of titanium and it has a heavy stone wash. It's a got a little bit of fish scale down the side and you've got your pry bar here with a nail nick to pull that. The eye here is used for hex bits. Now this is a standard sized Weeha. This happens to be a T6 and I can't get it to fit in there. It's just that that one's too big, but I do have these other Weeha bits that are smaller and that fits in the second position, no problem and locks in there well. So you could use this as a screwdriver in a last pinch effort. The mouth here of the shark is a bottle opener. It works, I've tried it. And then you've got a good nice pocket clip here, bent metal wire, very reminiscent to Spyderco if you've got any of the knights, knives like the uh, Spidey Chef, very, very similar. And this is ambidextrous. Very minimal branding here, just Vosteed on the tail there and on the tail on that side. Got gripping angles where you'd use to use the bottle opener. A little, a nice little pry bar if you're into those. And I do actually use pry bars occasionally. People ask, what are they for? I use it to depress the little um, tab on a ethernet cable to unhook the cable sometimes when you just can't get your fingers in there when you're working on dense switches or other things. It's a nice tool to have in the pocket. I have quite a few pocket knives in my collection. 
Many are drop points and sheep's foots and other designs. Most have some negative, like the grind might be too thick, it's not great at slicing or opening mail, and others have maybe a delicate tip that you're scared to use or poke at a little bit. Others might not carry in the pocket great, all types of things. Compromised clips like Spyderco standard clip, things like that. The nightshade for me doesn't really have any major downsides and I don't have to worry about the tip being too delicate. Before they sent the nightshade LT, I bought this uh, regular nightshade because I like the material. I didn't have the shape like this and I've loved this knife. So when they offered to send me this, I was really excited and accepted. For me, the biggest downfall is probably the width in the pocket. It's not the, gonna be the narrowest knife here, but in wearing it in uh, the summer here when shorts and thinner and uh, slimmer shorts, I didn't really have any issues and didn't wish it wasn't there. If you carry your cell phone in the same pocket as your knife, you might have that problem, but I don't. And I'm not sure I'd call this knife a lightweight. It came in at over a little over four ounces. For me, that line's about four ounces where I consider something below that a lightweight. But this also does have a larger than average blade in terms of its width. The length is fairly average here. Between my two nightshades, it's honestly been in my pocket several times a week for weeks and weeks. It's a great pocket knife. It's fun to flip and play with, and it does very well as a knife. The MSRP here is $69 with free shipping currently in the USA, I, and I think it's a pretty decent value, especially with the coupon co codes that I have down in the description below. I've got a code that'll knock $5 off just the knife itself, and there's a code to knock $20 off the knife and pry bar combination. And overall, I think that makes it a pretty good deal. Guys, let me know what you think of the nightshade in the comments below. I wonder if any of you guys have one. I know when I did my live uh, probably a month ago and I was using uh, the brass version, a lot of you guys were wondering what this was. I'm interested if anybody picked it up. As always, I appreciate you watching these videos, liking and subscribing, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.